Hey y'all, well May is in full swing. We got 15 inches of rain this past week and so I'm dealing with some pest pressure. So I will share with you the two main pests I'm dealing with today in the garden and what I'm gonna do about it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut away all of these leaves that are affected by these caterpillars. And after I get them sprayed off, hosed off, get all the frass off, which is another name for caterpillar poop, um, I'm gonna spray them with BT and put a net over them. So let me show you what kind of damage I'm looking at. Look at that, they just skeletonized my kale. All of my brassicas look like this pretty much. Um, I had a bunch of cauliflower and broccoli that I was still waiting to see if it was going to produce anything for me but you can see all of these caterpillars in there this is the ones that we have in our area that love brassicas I'm gonna start planting brassicas out in the landscape underneath some trees um, to try to deter them from coming in here and giving them some food elsewhere um, that'll be next year but what I'm doing right now is I am just cutting off all of the effective leaves and I'm just gonna leave the stalk it should still just continue to sprout out the top I'm not gonna um, cut the growing end here and I'm gonna hose these off and I will cover these with some kind of netting um, just to kind of see if I can keep those moths off of there I mean, they're, they're pretty cute caterpillars, but not when they're eating my kale. Look at that. And all that black stuff, that's the frass. I'm going down here, look, it just collects. Gross. So I'm gonna be hosing all of that off after I remove these leaves, and then I'll show you what, I, what I'm working with then. So this is what the kale looks like now that I've stripped off all of the leaves. And you can see there's still some caterpillar worms there still hanging on so I'm going to spray all this off with the hose pipe and this is what I stripped off this basket full these are going to go to the chickens so it won't be wasted the next thing I'm going to do now that I got most of the worms picked off and the, uh, the stalks of my kale sprayed off is I'm going to spray my plants with BT now BT is Bacillus thuringiensis that's the active ingredient in this um, caterpillar control spray. And it is a soil organism that actually gives the caterpillars an upset stomach. It is very specific to caterpillars. Um, I think it's the Lepidoptera family. So anything on that family, it's effective against. It says it doesn't hurt any other types of insects. So I, um, when I read the back of this, it said to use two to four teaspoons per gallon, and I'm gonna do half a gallon, and so I have 10 milliliters, that's two teaspoons of this. So I'm just gonna pour this into my pump sprayer, give it a good shake there, and I'm gonna get spraying. Okay, and this is the tent that I put up over my kale to deter the, cat, the um, moths from laying their eggs. And of course they hatch into those worms that eat your, cab, your kale. Uh, so this is the net. I got this net off of Amazon. It's a cover net and I just have it secured with some of these garden stakes and some clothespins. So this worked for me last year. It's not the prettiest thing, but it's prettier than holy <laughs> kale. And at least you get to eat your kale. I have everything all sprayed, so this ought to do it. I'll keep you updated on this. The second main pest I'm dealing with are these aphids on my beans. These are my pole beans, and I'm dealing with aphids on these. These are, these are the sunset runner beans. Those, they have aphids, and I have aphids on my purple potted pole. 
beans uh, a little bit, not too bad, but mostly on the, the uh, beans itself and on my yard long beans. These have a lot of aphids. Let's see if I can show you. See, look at that. Look at all those aphids there. And, oh wow, look under there. Yep, and the ants are actually going to eat the aphids, which is interesting. So aphids on my beans, and of course they they look pretty um, sick from all the rain we got, and the worms on all my brassicas. Those are the two main pests I'm dealing with in May this year. And let me show you what I'm going to do about these aphids. For the aphids, I'm going to make a spray of neem oil and a little bit of soap just to carry the neem oil. This is a biodegradable soap that is fine to use in your garden. I'm just going to use a drop of that in my pump sprayer here and I'm going to put two teaspoons of neem oil in with a half a gallon of water and a couple of drops of the soap. So there's my neem oil. I'm going to put this right on in here and I'm going to fill her up with my hose pipe. So I'm just gonna spray like this, make sure I'm getting underneath the leaves with my pump sprayer with this neem oil. And this ought to take care of them. Make sure I get them really good. I'm spraying the tops of the leaves and the bottoms of the leaves. I'm gonna go and spray the pole, the, um, bush beans too since they're attracted to beans. I want to make sure they don't just leave these beans and then go right on over to my bush beans. Well that's it for today y'all. I showed y'all the two top pests that I'm dealing with in May right now. These caterpillars and these aphids and what I did about it. I'll keep you updated as to if this stuff actually helps. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. What you want to tell them? Oh, you're so sweet.